Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy and welcome to the Northeast Airfield. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to install and how to configure the amazing parachute mod by uh, by the Admiral, which not only includes parachutes but also includes a uh, jetpack. And basically, in the mod, there's kind of two sorts of parachutes really. Um, there's the normal ones and then you'll find that there's ones that are called quick parachutes or fast parachutes. Basically that's just the difference in the JSON settings but you can't that will, that will become clear in a little bit. Then there's also these kind of tactical parachutes that when you put them on you can also add a bag as well. So they're a little bit more practical for running around the map. And there's also woo, there's also this jetpack which you refuel with with petrol and then you can fly it around which is uh, which is pretty cool and I'm going to go into what I've done is I've created some um, XML snippets to make all this easier to put on your server and in fact if you all if that's what you come to the video for and that's all you're interested in in the description below this video you'll see a link to my github which has that so first off let's, let's have a quick go with the, with a parachute just to kind of show you what they do so let's um let's put a parachute on uh, let's run over to this little um, tower here. Now, what I've done as well is in the GitHub, I've also included um, a custom object spawner JSON that includes this tower and those parachutes down there, and the jetpack and the fuel. So, if you want, you can install that on your community server or on your local server um, and have a play around. Um, or you could just put it up on the northeast airfield on your server just for people to come and come and have a go now i happen to think this this mod probably works very very well with something like red falcons helis as well so when you've got the parachute on all you do is you jump off high place mash space and then <laughs> it'll open and then you can slide, float gently down to the ground and you can configure the mod so that the parachutes will be uh, uh, destroyed when you hit the ground so that like they've only got one use or you could uh, do it so that um, you can carry on using them that sort of stuff so I tell you what let's let's take that one off um, let's refuel this jetpack and we'll show you how that works as well let's just put that in there let's just refuel this in my GitHub repository as well, in the README, there's all the instructions for all, how all of this works. So we take that, and then we uh, stand up. If I can remember how to stand up in DayZ, let's get rid of the jerry can. Let's put the jetpack on, and basically we jump in the air. There we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then we use WASD to kind of move around. And then we use Crouch to come down. <laughs> Let's see if we can make it to the platform. Is it gonna come down? Oh, we're not going down. Oh, oh we're going forward, we're going back. Okay, this isn't good, we're not going down. Um, I guess we're going to run out of fuel in a minute. Now, remember, the jetpack is a work in progress, um, so that could be. <laughs> but oh, here we go. I tell you what, we could do if we come over here. I wonder if we can take the backpack off in mid mid air. No, we can't, can we? No. Okay. So it's a little bit bugged out at the moment, but that's fine. That's fine. It's it's a, an experimental jetpack, so we're. I'm just gonna have to wait for it to run out of fuel, but that'll be fine. Hopefully, our character will will stay alive. So let's um, jump off the server so we don't have that noise going along. Okay, so first things first. If you want to install the server, you want to flash up Steam and you want to go to Admiral's Parachute mod in the Daisy Workshop. I'll put a link to that in the description below the video. Um, and then what you want to do is, he says, coming out of here. Is this going to shut down nicely? Let's shut that down. Then you want to fire up the Daisy launcher, um, and when the Daisy launcher fires up, it will uh, let's just close that. It will download the mod to your mods. So let's just get rid of that, and you'll find um, uh, Admiral's parachute mod sort of near the top. Um, then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to install this on 
your remote server, your community server. So simply fire up your um, FTP program, and then all you want to do is find your workshop folder uh, on your computer. It will be something like what you see here. So C program files, x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Daisy workshop. Or if you get a bit stuck, if you just click on one of these um, uh, arrows here and click on these three dots and say open folder in Windows Explorer and then click at the top that will then give you the address of where it is which you can then copy and paste into your um, FTP program then open up your server and all you want to do is uh, click on Daisy standalone for example scroll down uh, here we go there we go go down to admin's parachute mod right click upload that will then upload it and then you'll want to open up the keys folder in the mod open up the keys folder on your server like so you would right click upload that so that's all the bits uploaded now we need to make sure we start the server with the right mods so then what you would do is you go over to your server go to the settings section um, and then just make sure you add uh, at admiral's parachute mod um, into the additional mod section or if you're running a local server for example you'll want to make sure that in the batch files you you add that as well let's open up my batch file so that you can see it um, where is it there we go so on my batch file in the start line i've got in the mod line i've got uh, Admiral parachute mod and I've also got flight system helis as well because they kind of kind of go together um, now when that's on your server like that you won't actually have any um, parachute spawning in um, you would be able to spawn them in as an admin but if you want them to spawn in you're gonna have to add the parachute into your types.xml and this is where my github repository comes in um, and again, I'll have the link in the description below the video. When you go to the my GitHub repository, there's there's three files. There is a, a PNG file, which is just a picture of the training area. There's parachute neaf.json. Now, if you're familiar with adding custom object spawner JSON files to your server, that's what that's for. If you put that onto your server and you refer to it in your CFG gameplay.json in the object spawner line, you'll have that little thing that I just showed you. But the bit with all the meat on is in the readme.txt. So in the readme.txt, I've, co I've copied some of the stuff from the Admiral's um, Steam page. Um, so at the top, you've got the controls. So if you want to know how they work, you've got their controls for the parachute and the jetpack. And also then, I've included uh, the JSON configuration file. Uh, well, sorry, a snippet from the JSON configuration, which has got the instructions on. Now what happens is the very first time you run uh, the um, the mod on your server it will create a, uh, a, a, a parachute json dot json um, and I'll show you where that is so on your server it will be in your config folder or it might say settings folder and if you go in there then you edit that and what you're seeing here is for each different class name of um, parachute you can change the, the canopy that comes out of it but you're probably not really bothered about that but you can change the top speed multiplier as well but most importantly I think the one is parachute damage that's the one that you're going to want to change and if we go to here you can see that parachute parachute damage so if you set parachute damage to one um, it will be um, damaged on deployment so gradually as you use the parachute it will become damaged. If you set it to two though, it will delete on landing, which I think that's probably one of the best settings to have. Because you know, if you imagine with a parachute, you can't just use it again, can you? You'd have to repack it. So I think the idea of having it, them all set to two, delete on landing would be would be a good idea. So that people find parachutes, they use them, and once they've used them, they disappear so on my server if I was putting this on I would set parachute damage to 2 and obviously you've got the other things there so you can set the speed and all that sort of stuff then there's the class names of all the different parachutes as of the early February 2023 and again the ones that say speed on them basically all that happens is in the parachute JSON file they've just got different speed settings for as you're flying along so if you prefer them you could have them on but I haven't bothered uh, putting them into the types XML 
then you've got the types.xml um, snippets so what you would do with these is you go to your server you'd open up your uh, types.xml and you would copy and paste these in and what I've done is I've set them as military items in tier 3 and tier 4 unfortunately there isn't a airport setting that's what I would have liked to, to do if there was you know like we have village and town and coast and and that sort of thing a military if there's one that was like airport I would have used that because it would kind of make the sense that they would just spawn in airports but I guess having as military tier 3 and tier 4 means they're going to be up towards the northwest side of Chernus aren't they um, I've set two for each one um, and just count in map and obviously you can change this to whatever you want and that's for the parachutes and then what I've done is at the bottom you've got the jetpack and with the jetpack I've just set it to the nominal to one but I've set that as usage name um, in, in the contaminated area so you on Chernish you'll only find that in Riffy um, you know up on the coast where the ship is and then uh, I can never remember the other one blotter is it blotter where the other one is um, but you'll only find it there but obviously change that as one maybe when you're introducing these to your server what you'll want to do is maybe have lots of them all over the place now the thing that I didn't get to play around with actually was the quant min and quant max um, it could be that with the jetpack if you sent the quant min and quant max to like 99 and 100 it will spawn in full of fuel but I haven't had enough time to check that um, for myself you'll have to play around with that um, as you go along now the other thing you may want to do is you may want to use the parachute mod in conjunction with um, uh, a helicopter mod and then probably what you'd want to do is go into the CFG spawnable types for your helicopter mod and add the um, parachutes into there so for example this is a snippet from uh, the CFG spawnable types from a um, installation of Red Falcon's flight systems helis and what you want to do is you go into CFG um, spawnable types and that is the uh, that is the file that basically tells the game what should spawn with a helicopter or anything really so for example on the Bell 249 in this particular setup it's set up hydraulic hoses, wiring harness, igniter plug etc etc and then what you would do is you would add um, one of the helicopter, one of the uh, parachutes to the cargo of it so you just add it as an attachment and I think that's quite a nice thing to have isn't it you know so that when you go to a helicopter there's a parachute in the back so you could then put that on and then if you were to get yourself into trouble or if you just wanted a little bit of fun you could jump out of the parachute at height um, now did we get back to installing it so as I was, as I was saying so you would add the Admiral's parachute mod to there on your server you've got all the bits on you would go in go into the file browser go into DB open up your types.xml or download it and open it up in your fo uh, favorite text editor obviously make a backup so that if you make a mistake you can always revert you would copy and paste your uh, all of the uh, types of XML code snippet from my github uh, readme file you would then save that restart your server and then parachutes would start spawning in in and around the uh, the areas that, that, that we just said uh, up around sort of the northwest corner of Chernerus I mean that's it that's it really it's, it's a really cool mod um, mainly as well I mean it works which is, which is always great and it doesn't have other other dependencies as well so it's not relying on, on even something like um, this the the, uh, the CF mod which is really really cool so a big shout out a big thanks for Admiral for creating this mod um, and uh, yeah it's really nice and parachutes yeah who's gonna be the first to go up to um, Red Mountain and jump off the top and see how far you can get Anyway, that's enough from me. If you found the video useful, hit, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.